hello and welcome to my channel my name is Julie and today I'm going to share with you how to make this one here I don't know who done this one but it's really really lovely um, well I'm going to attempt to make it anyway um, it's, this die set is called the Happy Amper Gift Box die set some of you might have already have it um, this is the die set this piece here is your main die and then you get your mat and layer dies and your detail dies everything you need to make it inside or on the back now it's inside inside is all your instructions like so um, and this die here makes one of these paper bead can, I think were they around in the 70s I think I can um, remember something like that but you were to draw like this sort of shape on a piece of paper and then cut it out of, of course but that makes it really simple don't it? right let's go ahead now I'm quite lucky because I've got like um, a stash of tonic cardstock and um, I can make the colours up so because you cut in to your main card you will need to put something else behind now I've got I'm hoping this is going to work some um, really lightweight acetate behind there and I mean it is um, lightweight um, I got it a long time ago and um, I made this out the last sheet and I've just got scraps of it left now but it's not like um, the thicker acetate that you can get from some companies and this was from a TV shopping channel I got this from but like I say it's lightweight and also I've got the drops as well and these go on um, opaque and um, when they dry they go like the intense colour and they pick up the colour behind so this is the glitter drops and um, this is called golden sunset uh, the reason I took this off, I've got, you can see there, there's a little bit of um, glueiness there. So, um, and it was a bit more pronounced, so I give it, I'll give it a little squeeze and a little shake and, and just manipulate it. And it is, this is a tip from Jodie herself, saying that if you do have trouble squeezing these bottles, if you take the plastic wrapper off, you can squeeze the bottles better um, and I just well as you can imagine I was dropping you know doing the little drops to, went to turn my card around and put my arm straight in it so I had to go I can see one that there looks a bit flat and maybe that one there yeah so I ended up with a line full of um, drops on my arm <laughs> never mind but I did leave it overnight um, and um, there's a few more drops somewhere else as well yeah so what you do is you bring one over top of the other and just glue on This bit is quite easy yeah and if you do cut into your cardstock and you leave it all open like this you will need something else to um, replace with you could even do vellum or if you didn't want to do that um, you can even use pattern paper on there can't you it's up to you but I like this one so much and I've tried to find who done it and I couldn't find out so whoever done this one thank you it's lovely 
I think this is the one that um, persuaded me to you persuaded me to buy like this set. I don't need much persuasion, mind you. <laughs> right. So you take those up to the score line, but not over. Oh yes, and one word of warning. I got hold of my detail tie after I cut it out, and um, so here I am going, but a bit louder, and I'm going, <laughs> and it took all the bits that come out all into my hair, all down my top and everywhere, and I was, <laughs> yeah, so that's a word of warning, so, but always tap on the back of your die, not the front, because these are your cutting edge, and if you bend those, um, you're going to damage your die so make sure you do it on the the flat side of your die if you want to do that but yeah <laughs> so and then you're going to bring these two bits over and another tip that Jody said was is to run a little bit of glue round round that bit there so that's what I'm going to do just makes it easier for putting it together oh and curve these bits as well because I've got this thin acetate there it does curve quite nice so you, I think you should be able to get it in and these ones just manipulate them a little bit just to so I see there we go which way am I going this way so I like to bring it round there and then hold it over try and get it um, central otherwise because I did make some little baskets with this and I didn't get it centralized I think I was in a hurry and if you don't leave enough gap it is hard to get your straps through So there was a little bit of um, card still there where it hadn't gone over the um, the opening. No, that's it. So you need to have it. Let's bend that back. Oh, not like that. Like that. Ooh, where are you there? So I can't see with my glasses on. Not like that. Like that. there now I want to um, I'm going to leave that for a minute or two because um, I want to show you these these are the other plain paddles as Jody says uh, one of these I've already cut down so we've cut one down this is just for um, so it makes it look nice really and the card I'm using is only uh, 216 so we're going to glue this on and I'll show you what to do on the other one and um, glue this on before I I think I should have got the other bottle out. So on these you've got a slight, well I've just bent there, you've got a slight score line. And this one we're going to chop off. Just come a little bit above. I'll show you where it is. It's there. Okay, so we're just going to come above there. Just a little way. 
and then we're going to glue it onto like we did that one onto the reverse And I've got one there as well, so that is going to go like that. Then you've got that one going round as well. And then we're going to glue those on later on, and then put that in the middle as well. That's all that done. Uh, <coughs> then we're going to come on to this. Let's glue um, this on. So this is um, the other one of the set that Ruth's released four, three, four weeks ago. And because this is um, 216 again, I'm going to double up on this as well. Just to make it a bit stronger. Because this is where that's going to be coming on and off. And it looks nicer. You haven't got those raw edges showing. Just make sure I've got the right side. Let me just have a little picture. If you're not sure, have a look and see what the design team have done because they are brilliant and on the back you get more designs so you can see look this is what I mean about pattern paper so you could just cut out your your um, shapes and put pattern papers on it's up to you oh, let me have it round the other way that's it right and the other thing um, I wanted to say because this isn't a circle it's sort of an, an odd shape I'll show you, um, if you can see, let's take this shape out all together. And that one. All of these dies, um, what fit in to here. Can I have a blue wood one? All of these dies have got, um, there's a little, a nooky bit here, a little indentation here, alright, and on the outside of this one, there's a little, a ridge bit, as I call it, and then that will fit into there, so you can get everything aligned up, look, and then when you come to the next one, this one's the same. So it's got like a little um, ridge bit there so you know where you're going and it's got like a little ridge bit on the inside as well and that helps you to line up so you can get it central all the way down and I think that works on all the um oh. so these are all the layering dies like I've used for this it goes down to um, this one so once you've got them all lined up, look, so that is there to help you to line it up because it, it's not a circle, 
and it's not an oval. Okay. I just thought I'd point that out. So that's that's good, isn't it? Right. Let's just put those up there for a minute. I hope I don't knock them off. <laughs> right, let's glue it down. Excuse me, we've got um, strong winds coming in the UK. Not as strong as um, some countries have them, but strong enough for this neck of the woods. Sorry, all I'm doing is just putting glue on the back. I'm sure you know how to put glue on the back. Now I do want to say one thing. I do these videos to try and help. And I know I'm not perfect and nobody is perfect. And I have got a disability, and I've often said before that I've got rheumatoid arthritis. Now, if any of you have got rheumatoid arthritis, you know how difficult it is sometimes to get you, your fingers into a position that they don't want to go in. So it does make it, it makes it harder. So. When I say that I'm having difficulty doing it, you might not have difficulty doing it. Um, yeah. But you can either watch the videos or, or don't. That's what I'm saying. Now, I'm not a member of a design team and quite frankly I wouldn't be able to keep up with um, a design team doing what they do and I think they're marvellous because those girls work really really hard but I do this because I enjoy it and I'm getting a little bit fed up with um, comments, I should say. Yeah. Right, so you've got score lines here. And just bend those down. This might be a little bit stiff now because if you can. Let's say you can do it in 240 because I have. But because I wanted to do that design on the front cover. So you'll get these pieces like this. And then, um, so that's going to go on there. And then, but you've got a raw edge on the back. So then you get single ones. Okay, so you can put that on there so that's what we're going to do I'm just going to put that flat for a moment just make let me make sure which one I'm doing first because now we may I'll put it in the wrong place I 
got myself in a right old this was last night because um, I didn't actually make like this up um, when I first got it like I say I made a basket out of it and um, so then I got myself in a this was and I thought oh dear I can't remember how to put it together now so I had to make one up just to see how it went so, right now we're going to put some glue around there can you see just hold that back a bit and then we're going to stick this one over the top so we're going to do one for the other side And then, oh, not that one, this one. I'm going to get this one and place over there just so it looks pretty. See, we haven't got no raw edges. And to give it a little bit more, um, more strength, really. So now we've done that one. My drinks bottle just went pop so now we come to this shape here those ones are spare and then we're going to bring this one back in now you've got score lines here so I'm going to glue one on there I think I think Jody told you to put it on that way around so if there's a certain way to put but I'm going to put another one on top so I'm going to sandwich mine like that I've just come up to the score line. You've got one there, look, don't go no further than that. You've got score lines all the way up. And then I'm going to get the other one. Now I'm going to glue it all the way along this one. Ooh. Stay there. Like that because again this is only a 216 and it is going to be pulled about a bit so really it's doubling it up and it looks nicer so I've already bent this one look I'm just gonna just gonna crease this score line so I can see just where to put the glue for now I'm 
just lining it up. Put the glue on all the way down of this one. And take your time with it. And if you're not sure, um, cut it out of um, some spare card colour that you don't use a lot. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Believe me, I make mistakes. I've said before I make mistakes. It, like you need to familiarise yourself with the die set and just play because there's other ways you can use it. Now this might come of a little um, part a little bit because um, because it's probably not dry. through this side first so we're going to bring it through there all the way through and you're going to bring it up like that you're going to come through the bottom one of this one back like that I think I'm going the right way about it. Or probably not. No, I don't. I need to. Um, Go down, come back up, come through there, let's do that again. So you're going to come, you're going to come through this one, back round and then the bottom one. Come up again, in through the top of the bottom one of these, through there, hold on, I can put it, through there, And then you're going to bring it back down through that bottom one. So then we're going to bring this side down through all fingers and thumbs, isn't it? And then down through this bottom one again. Get my finger out of the way. There you go. There you go. Then these two little pieces fit in there. Poke it all out. This one's this side's gone in nice. Wait, that's a nail. Just get the poke tool and just slide there you go. Now these two bits for this one so um, we're just going to slip this through bring it up and glue over there there's a glue
and I should have told you to cut you need to curve it which we haven't done It's going to be more difficult now. So let's bring this one in. And we're going to put some glue just along here. And we're just going to put that one. Once it's together, isn't this nice? I really, really like it. somebody a comment to say I made that and then we're gonna I'm gonna glue there but if you want to I don't know about the um you know the um hook and loops I don't know whether they would uh, work on there or not but we're just gonna glue the stick of it or you could use a magnet if you're not giving it to children or if children are not present and things like that because they can be really dangerous and then we're going to put this actually no we're not we're going to put a little bit of foam on because that's what it shows on the picture that's come together really really nice oh and I'll show you um, how to do the bead pokey tool and I think the person put this on like so Good put my glasses on so I can see like that I think it looks crooked <laughs> I think it might be the glasses anyway there you go it looks nice I think it's the drops what make it actually uh, where's the thing oh, I need that in a minute anyway It's just um, now I've got one of these and it's got um, a small end and a big end now I like the big end because it gives you a nice hole in the middle of your bead look to, for you to be able to put like string or ribbon or whatever you're going to use um, Ugh, trying to do it without my glasses on so you can see I've already started to curl this round and that's what I do I start it off where I want it to go I start it off like that okay now bring it back out I just um, put a bit of glue on where I think not there but obviously otherwise I'll sort of glue me um, tool in we don't want that happening do we when you doing this and not filming because <laughs> you're trying to do it this I suppose you could which I am going to do now because I've had enough of that
you could roll it up in your fingers but that one I did do with that and I'll come out and I'll come out a bit instead of doing it right on the, the tip because it gets really narrow there I'll, I'll come down a bit make yourself some beads and then what I do is have a look at my get my glasses on just have a look see what it's doing inside here is that where I want that to be or no that way there you go so you've got enough room there to put like ribbon or because this one is really thin and you would struggle to get um, something through the hole to put it on with so you do get to make little bees to put to put on here and some of the girls have made some oh this one actually look on there they're the paper beads and they've attached it with ribbon and you do get that dyed there as well um, to attach a ribbon handle if you want I'll show you. Don't they think of everything? Right, let's bring this back over. If it is, that one. So that's the one for the ribbon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and um, I'll see you again real soon. Uh oh, I've got to tap the mouse. Make a noise. Yeah, it's stuck. Right, bye bye for now. <laughs>